Hey guys, welcome back. It's Finny Designs here with a brand new video. And this time I'm going to show you another video on Affinity Designer. In the previous video, I showed you the interface of uh, the software. In this one, I'm going to show you how to set up a document for the first time. So uh, what you're going to do is go to go to file and uh, click new. And uh, you're going to be brought, brought to a new document window. And over here, you can customize your document. So you have your type and over here, you can select um, what type of document you want to create. Uh, are you going to create a web based um, design? So if you're going to create something that's going to be uh, displayed on a website or a computer or a device, uh, you can choose a uh, web. You also have the option for print. So you're going to print something like a brochure, a business card, um, flyers, whatever. Uh, you can choose a print. And when you select print, you get set up with preset settings that you're most likely, most likely going to be using for print, uh, print based documents. If you want, you can also customize it uh, manually. So you can go ahead and choose your page preset. Um, you also have the units. So if you're comfortable in pixels, for example, you can choose pixels or inches or any other options. At the bottom, you have color formats. So for for a print uh, style document, you would usually use um, CMYK. It's a four step or four, four color uh, process. So uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Um, that's pretty much for a print um, setup. And you also have color profiles. And this, uh, usually you don't want to touch this unless you know what uh, sort of profile you're going to need for printing. Um, uh, and it depends on uh, maybe the location where you live or the printer that you're using. Um, you also have the option for transparent background. So let's say you want to um, export a logo and you don't want like a background behind it like a white background you just want like a transparent background you can set transparent background uh, so you basically have a uh, transparent background and no color at the back um, at the bottom you have the options to change the dimensions of the document uh, you can either have a portrait or a landscape um, and you can enter your enter your uh, dimensions manually over here and you can also change the DPI. Uh, usually for print-based, you would select 300 or higher maybe. Um, for web-based, you can just select 72. Uh, for web-based devices like mobile or uh, websites, computers, 72 is good enough. Um, at the bottom, you have include margins. And normally, you would use this for printing uh, print-based documents only. Um, I don't know when you would use this feature for uh, web-based. Maybe you want to add a margin. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's basically it. Uh, let's say uh, you want to create a web-based option. You would just select web and then go through the steps again and then click OK. When you do that, you have your document set up for creating designs. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to go through a lot more tutorials on this Affinity Designer software. And if you want to use the software, it's currently in beta for PC users. So you can uh, check out the link in the description, go to it, sign up and download uh, to try the software for yourself. And uh, if you're a Mac user, you can already purchase the software on the Apple or Mac store. And uh, if you want to try it out, you can also download the free trial. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.